Well, good morning. Of course, this is Jay Bass. Just wanted to get on camera tonight. Haven't been on in a long time. Um, things have been crazy in my life, but they've been good, you know. I'm learning to appreciate the moments that I have more and more. Ah, oh, and it's a blessing. I mean, it's been a challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you it hasn't been a challenge. And if you saw some of the things that I was going through or you knew, I, well, really, you need to see it for yourself. But just to be here, I'm honored. And so, just wanted to say, hey, I'm watching the Rosie reality show. And it's making me think a lot about life. And the scenes of life are something that I came up with called the scenes of life. And we see the finished product when she puts the show together for the hour. But we don't know the behind the scenes, and that's how we are for one another. You never know what somebody is going through. You actually might look in it, and, and it looks like everything is well, but that person is suffering, smiling on the outside, but going through on the inside, praising them on the outside. But I mean, when you get home, just really going through it. So I just I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here in this moment grateful again. What an honor. After all that I've been through. What an honor. I want to do some shout outs. Let's do it. Alright. <laughs> Paulette Williams. I love you. Thank God for you. You are my sister. I have met some, you know, I have met some good people. Like Sean Holmes, my best friend. Going to Conroe to do a workshop at New Testament his Church next week. So we're good, you know. Uh, Dr. Yancey, Lady Yancey, New Vision. Thank God. What an honor. What an honor. Please keep KGS in, because NBC is the place to be. Uh, okay. And then, of course, I got to talk about the students. And you'll meet the students later on. Shanice. JJ and Tanya. And of course, we can't forget about Trey. Trey Ryan. Okay. Cheeks. Okay. Um, I actually kind of feel like singing a little bit, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cut you off. I hope you'll stay tuned. I thank God for this season of life as well that I do plan on getting back on the radio and interviewing people in this type of setting and if you want to be interviewed, I'd love to talk to you. I want to talk to simple people, people, people. I, I, you know, now, hey, if I can talk to Oprah, if I can talk to Tyler Perry, you know, come on. If I can talk to Donald Lawrence, James Hall, I'm ready to talk. But if it's my sister downstairs, who are you? I know you have a story to tell talk to me. Let's talk. Oh God, and don't you get, don't you bring up the word of God or we're about to have a time. Okay, God bless. I feel like going on. I feel like going on. Though trials come on every hand. I feel like Going on. God has a purpose and a plan for our lives. There is a reason He created me. I'm not an accident, nor am I a mistake. There is a reason for me. Yes, there is a reason. For you, God has a purpose for our lives. Nothing made by God was made without a purpose. And since I am His creation, I know He has a plan for me. There is a reason for me. Yes, there is a reason for you. God has a purpose. For our lives. So no matter what men say, 
or do that has a purpose for creating you so just keep your head up and look to God so that your purpose may be fulfilled in you God's purpose fulfilled in you Yes, there is a reason for you. There is a reason for me. God has a purpose. God has a purpose. Sometimes I don't feel it. Like feeling visible. So, yeah, I mean really sometimes it feel like don't nobody care but then somehow I get reminded somebody does care I, I have a blog uh, that says somebody cares I might need to sign in and do some typing on that tonight but I've been really blogging on blogger.com because it's just the, well my somebody care is on blogger.com as well but I have another one called pressing forward oh my god just to be in this moment with a mind to press forward I don't know what that means to you and I often say this I'm only 29 years old so for some they might look at me and say I mean, he's not old enough to know, but just because I survived, I'm grateful. Be encouraged. I love you. Hope you tune in later.